to the to the good stuff. Congratulations, you collected over ten stuff. I've been very active recently, I must say. Don't rest on your laurels, though. Try to make this part of your day. Okay. So look at that. Look how active I've been. I've been absolutely caning it recently. I won't do the body test because then you'll find out how much I weigh. Um, but I am actually technically uh, overweight. Uh, training. I'm not obese though, but I, just, uh, but I am overweight. Just, I mean, yeah, by a bit, by a bit. Okay, I can see I've only got seven minutes recording time on my phone. Uh, let's get to it then. Aerobic exercises. Let's have a free jog. No, not free jog. You want a control jog. Jog. Distance. Let's have a long one, eh? Let's have a long one. So, Put the Wii remote in your pocket and run in place to help burn away your fat. I'd sometimes hold it in my hand, but um, I will, once I start jogging, I will pop it in my pocket. So distance long, let us start. Now let me get back from the thing. It's a shame that I'm so tall, because ideally you want me to be this size, don't you? Sorry, I can't do that. Uh, I don't need the, you don't need, there's the, the balance board there. You don't need it because it's just, you're not running on it and you should never run in it. And especially don't jump onto it because you'll just uh, you'll have to buy another one. Before starting, clear the area around you. We've done that. Don't trip on anything. I might trip on that. So I'll just put that there. So I've got I've got knee pads on. If I should fall over on into the shag pile, have a nice an extra comfy landing. Uh, there we go. It starts off here. I wish the TV the TV should be mounted really, isn't it? Oh, I should just shrink. Let me just shrink. Should I shrink? Yeah, let me shrink. But then I have to run. Then I have to run like that. It's a bit weird. I'll stand up again. Right, you start off. I'll put, I'll put the thing in my pocket. Oh, oh. Now, see, I started off. There was a a a, a woman guide in front of me. Uh, she's the she's the starter guide. So if you go in a slow pace, you follow her. But if you like, oh sod you, you're boring. I'm speed off in front of her. Then then you follow the dog instead because the dog goes faster, and that means that you can. Um, it helps you maintain a constant pace, which is quite, um, you know, it's more akin to what you want to be, uh, what you want to do, how much fat you want to burn, or how intense you want the the jog to be. So I'm literally just jogging on the spot here. And um, it doesn't help <laughs> you talking while jogging as well really knackers you out. But um, I think that's good. But I'm just jogging, jogging away. Swing your arms in big motions to burn more calories. Um, I mean, my arms are really just doing like this. Tom -ti tom tom -ti tom tom But I might, I might start doing this. Oh, yeah. Got a good burn on here. But I... <laughs> Uh, you can't keep that up for long because the, the movement of the arms really does uh, gets the heart pumping. Um, so through the sort of Spanish looking town in, uh, in Andalusia, seaside town. I don't know if, if that's true actually, if Andalusia is anywhere near the sea or could be the, the mountains. But it's a nice place anyway. Nice sounds as well of the birds. If you could only just hear them over my... My booming voice might turn them up for a second. Oh, he reaches for the control. Trick shot, trick move, trick move. Up the volume, you can hear the birds. That's a Laurel, Laurel and Hardy theme, it's that bird was singing. Right, let's, let's burn some rubber here. Let's get past these slow coaches. Move. Coming through. Excuse me, but the thing is, so we're going up on the hill near the, uh, your pace is getting faster, damn right it is, try not to run at more than 60% because then you overtake the dog and the dog feels really, uh, I don't know, just it lowers the dog's self esteem and it might not want to sort of guide me again in the future, but um, come up to the wind, to the wind farms here, uh, Oh, the thing is, 
it warns you not to run too fast. I'll show you what happens when you run too fast. Let me go. Let me absolutely peg it. Out the way, dog! Move! Yeah, you've passed your guard. Eat my bloody dirt, lad. Where's that finishing line? Shut up, move. Yeah! Victory! Yes! Usually when you when you go so fast, I nearly burn 60%. Simmering fire, you, you kidding me? Um, usually when you, you burn so much, uh, sorry, when you go so fast like that and you just overtake your guide, uh, usually fall out, you fall over because you're not used to that sort of change of pace, but fortunately my guy was just going flat out there, it was amazing. And I got that, that last little final stretch, I've really felt it and you can feel it, you can hear it in my voice now. Uh, and yeah, and that's literally just, that's uh, one of the long runs. The longest one is just a free jog and that's, you, literally you just go all over the aisle and that proper does you in. Um, so I think I'm, yeah, oh shit, I've got 20 seconds left. Great stuff. Well, that's my morning uh, run. I'll probably do a few more throughout the course of the day. Have a good day.